Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can further improve your ecom site speed by implementing what's known as adaptive images. What is an adaptive image? Basically it is images that are generated based on the size of the user screen and we're going to be using a plugin called adaptive images for WordPress and let me give you an example of what I mean. So here we have one image on a large screen, it will serve up an image that is a large, high quality image file, which is, in this example, 500 kilobytes. On a smaller laptop screen, it will serve up a smaller image, in this example, 160 kilobytes. And on tablet and mobile, it will display or generate even smaller images, or I should say, even smaller versions of the same image for that particular device. So as you can see, for people who are on the go on a mobile, that file size will be absolutely tiny compared to somebody who's browsing from their home on a desktop. Now, on that note, if somebody was browsing on their mobile and there were served up images that were the same large image as people get at home on desktop, you could really imagine how much download uh, bandwidth that would take up and how much time that would take to load up on a mobile phone. So that's why it's critically important for your e-com site to have different versions of the same image that are served up based on the user's screen size. It's really not hard to do this. All it requires you to do is implement this one plugin. So all we're going to do is go into our WordPress dashboard and just follow me as you go along. Go to plugins. We want to add a new plugin and search for a plugin called Adaptive Images for WordPress. That's the one there. We want to install that and we want to activate that. Now you'll notice a little note up here saying that for the plugin to take effect you must um, configure the settings first. So let's do that. Okay, so the first box you see here, resolutions, um, I would not change that unless you really know what you're doing. If, if anything, I would add one more for a larger screen, say 1400 pixels, and leave the rest as is. But if you're unsure, just leave that as default. Now, the next checkbox here, bigger dimensions, check this plugin, uh, check this if you want to resize images according to the landscape device orientation. And yes, we want to do that because if somebody is on a mobile phone and they are in landscape, they need to be served up a slightly bigger image than they would on portrait mode in, in a mobile. So let's leave that checked. This one here comes unchecked as default. Uh, basically, check this plugin if you want to show a higher resolution image for high resolution screens, for example, Retina which is what a lot of the modern phones have, such as the iPhone. It is my personal preference to check that because I don't want to compromise user experience by implementing this plugin. Just because they have a small screen doesn't mean that they should receive a low quality image if their screen is able to support a higher resolution, such as what Retina display screens can do. So purely for user experience purposes, I like to leave that checked. CDN support, leave that unchecked. We won't go into that, but don't check that. Leave the cache directory and the watch directories the as default. Now, watch what this cache directory is, it's the directory where all of your um, additional additionally generated images will be stored. So for every image you upload, there will be replicas in different sizes, and that's where it will be stored. So leave that as default. Now for JPEG quality, this is purely a balance between file size and quality. My personal preference, I like to choose 75. Sharpen images, I like to keep that checked. It sharpens the images a little bit when they are compressed and resized uh, to be smaller. It just increases the sharpness and reduces the blurriness. So I like, to, I like to keep that checked. And watch cache, yes, keep that checked because what a cache is, it's basically a storage of all your images. Now, when one of the images change, you want to make sure that the cache is updated. So that's why I want to keep this enabled. 
whenever an image is updated, yes, I want uh, I want to I want it to be generated again so that the user is served up the correct image. Now browser cache, leave that as default, there's no need to change that. And when you're done, click save settings. And that's all. You should get a notification saying the settings have been successfully saved and that is all there is to it. Now, if you really want to go and test the site speed on a particular page, what I would recommend you doing is, actually before, I should have done this before I started this process, but anyway, I'll let you know how to do it. Um, go to a product page, then go to a uh, service called pingdom.com. Just Google Pingdom site speed and you'll be able to get to a website speed test. Okay, so before and after you implement this plugin, just take a product page and copy that URL and paste it in here and click the test now button. And what that will do is it will uh, generate a um, summary of the page's load speed. And then you can compare your before and after load speed on different devices. So that's all there is to it. All of your images will have replicas in different sizes and depending on, on what their screen size is, they will be served up an image that is appropriate for that particular screen size so as not to waste bandwidth and therefore reduce the load speeds considerably. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below.